Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet for the new setups and mechanics for your fishing pole guide. Um, and this is going to surprise a lot of people, guys. Um, for those of you that thought Max Drake was broken, stick around. Uh, it's more powerful than ever. Um, but anyway, before we get into showing that, we got to show what has changed and why some things are majorly affected by this few things uh with this too i'm gonna we're gonna start right from the bottom guys because there's a lot of things that i think people have misconceptions about this so let's get started folks first of all let's start at the bottom uh, quite literally actually when any part of your pole is too weak now including uh, one piece as you can see everything else is a normal pretty much normal Zeus setup we have a, a little jig winner on and we are going after Taman. anytime something in your setup is too small now you will get the fish is too powerful please upgrade your tackle and it's not just from your boat it's also from land as well too guys so this wasn't just to fix the telescopic rods it affects all setups. Another interesting thing that will play a part later is on a perfectly balanced pole like a jig winner, 13 on everything, including your line and a bremer. The first thing to break on Max Drake is actually your line, which would surprise most people because everybody's hearing about this Max Drake being broken. Now, why is this important? If you guys look here in the background, the line broke first, the pole took the most or more wear than the, the reel did, and the reel didn't take very much wear at all. In fact, maxing out the reel, as you will see in the background, uh, it actually takes a minute and 43 seconds from half health on a reel at max drag to take it all the way to zero and break. So that means you're going to have about three and a half minutes of max drag on a reel before it breaks. Also, one other important thing about Max Drake now is it's actually more realistic. Now settle down, Billy Joe. Quit typing in, in the comment section yet and let me explain myself. Max Drake before used to let line out. In real life, if you max out your drag completely on a pole, line does not come out. It doesn't let the fish run away. And now the game has that same mechanic. Before, if you did max drag, they could fight you and run. And we're going to get into why that's really important later. Now, this next part might throw a few people off. This, and I'll show the setup later at the end. 46 pound a line and pole with a only a 45 pound reel. And you're probably thinking, oh, the reel is going to break. Well, it's max drag. Just like in real life, when you do max drag and you don't, and no line is able to come out, you put more stress on the line and the rod. As you can see, they take way more damage and the line breaks pretty much pretty quick here, as you can see. And on our old system, this one that happened on the old system, as you guys know, this is one of the most used setups ever that I used to use. This never broke. Now, when not using Max Drag, the line and the rod are going to act exactly the way they have and not take the additional damage. And this is because the reel, when it gets too much pressure on it, will let line out. So your rod and the reel and your line aren't taking the excess force of the reel not giving. So what does this all mean, guys? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, for comps and for regular fishing, what you probably are going to do or what some people are going to do. And I have a couple examples to show exactly what I'm talking about for comps because I know some people, a lot of people are here for that. Now I'm going to show you two examples. Now both examples are a spot reel and uh, a Zeus pole. And the first one is, uh, you can see the fish hit at about 160 or so and then pulled out 
And uh, this fish takes 55 seconds. This is on what would most people are probably using right now and probably going to continue to use. Uh, this is a balanced, non-max drag setup. Um, and these are very comparable fish. So you saw it hit at 160. It ran out. Um, and kind of, you know, it's fighting pretty good. And this is a, just to show you what the extra time is going to be in, like, in comps. So, not, you know, a balanced, non-max drag setup here. And I will show the setup afterward, right afterward. So you can see it took 55 seconds here, guys. Example two, guys, is the same exact rod in a slightly smaller spot reel. The fish hits in about the same exact spot. And you'll see with the new, new knowledge of the new mechanics now that I know, you're going to watch this fish come in super quick. Uh, this fish comes in at 31 seconds, almost half of the time of the the old the the other the first example guys of what most people are using and the fish has no choice to but to come in because the max drag doesn't allow the line to come out and if you put on just slightly stronger line like i did uh, to use this mechanic uh, you can see the fish come has to come in and it comes in way quicker now there are some downsides to this as you can see the reel took some damage and wears out quicker um, so it's going to be more expensive. Um, but there's a lot of people in this game with a ton of money that don't care about a couple thousands to repair a reel. And you think, well, you can't do that in a whole tournament. Guys, at the end of the video, you're going to see that one reel can last three and a half minutes of solid drag. Solid drag. That means... That means if you have 10 reels, that's 33 minutes at minimum of full max drag on reels that you have. You aren't even going to use that in two hours in a tournament, let alone a competition. You, so there will be people doing this 100%. Another downside to this, and I don't want to get into too many details on this, but... Not all fish are created equal. You can't build a 30-pound setup that's going to work for all 30-pound fish. As you know, if I tried to catch a 30-pound muskie, it's going to fight a lot harder and put a lot more tension on my line and in, in rod. So it's not always going to be apple to apples on your weight. And that means, well, would you use this for normal fishing? Heck no, that's too much money. You're going to waste a lot of money while you're regular fishing. Um, but people that, uh, do want to win comps and tournaments real bad will be doing a setup like this guaranteed. You can see the time frames of how much quicker it is. And if it, you know, that's just going to be a thing. It's everybody always looks for a competitive advantage and eventually somebody was going to find this besides me. Um, with that being said, how does this affect your normal fishing? Well, you're not going to use this normal fishing. It's going to be probably too expensive. So, uh, what you for a normal setup going forward, and I will make an, an additional guide, uh, not a mechanics guide like this, but an actual guide of setting up a normal pole, you're probably going to want to go with what you exactly have right now and turn the drag down one. Um, and if you want to get fancy, maybe put a slightly stronger reel on it than what you had and turn a drag down on. That's it. Uh, you know, um, for normal fishing, it's going to be kind of, you know, just don't use max drag because it's going to cause too much wear. But people, you know, you can see the difference on max drag. It's actually come become slightly more powerful. And... I'm going to leave this here so you guys can see the damage here. I'm going to end it with some music, guys. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I like putting the extra work into this game. Uh, hopefully you guys appreciate it, and we'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.